active hair growth where your antigen cycle, your hair growth, active hair growth cycle, I should say, is decreased and now you're getting more shedding than growth. So. So what's going on super excited for this video if you are new to my channel welcome to my channel i'm so glad you are here i am a cosmetic chemist and i'm here to help you understand your hair ingredients and products all from a cosmetic chemist perspective and i also have entrepreneurs that hair care lines as well and today we are talking about three reasons why your hair is not growing and i get this question pretty often so i want to create this really quick video to anyone out there who is struggling with growing their hair so you guys know i don't waste any time let's get started okay number one so when it comes to hair Hair growth issues scalp issues is actually pretty far up there on the list and that's because healthy hair starts with a healthy scalp however if you have a lack of blood circulation or if you have inflammation of the scalp that can lead to a disruption of your hair growth cycle now for those who may have inflammation of the scalp this is typically in the category of alopecia scalp psoriasis and even subaheric dermatitis now believe it or not Changing your diet will do a huge, 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 huge help when it comes to inflammation, not only for your scalp, but your body as well. And when I say changing your diet, I'm really referring to less fast food, less processed food, more healthy fats, more greens, all that good stuff, okay? Um, now, of course, if your um, stubborn hair dermatitis or your psoriasis or your alopecia is like really, really severe, definitely incorporate that, but also look into seeing a dermatologist or a trichologist for extra care to see what's really, really going on. Now, on the flip side, when it comes to blood circulation or lack of blood circulation, I should say, this is pretty common. And you guys know that blood flow is hair growth, and it's the blood that carries oxygen and nutrients to the follicle that allows our hair to grow. Now, if we are lacking iron, for example, which is huge, especially in our community, you're not really gonna see the growth that you're looking for. You're gonna in fact see more shedding. So I would definitely get some blood work done on your iron levels to make sure that that's where it needs to be. Second thing I would say is a dry scalp, dandruff, um, oil buildup can also lead to a lack of hair growth. When it comes to dryness, I highly recommend always using a moisturizing shampoo. Always do really good scalp massages after your wash day because your scalp absorbs the most amount of moisture on your wash day. So getting some jojoba oil, adding a few drops of tea tree oil can help tremendously with combating a dry scalp and dandruff as well. So that I would highly recommend. And in regards to scalp health, scalp massages are the way to go. That is probably the quickest way to increase your blood circulation to the follicle. And honestly, just massaging your scalp for five minutes every single day or a few times throughout the week is gonna help tremendously with improving your hair growth. Now, the second thing when it comes to hair growth issues is going to be a lack of lymph retention due to breakage. Now, when it comes to our hair, our hair is very fragile. It's prone to dryness, which leads to more breakage and split ends and all of the things that we do not want. So we have to be very careful about how we handle our hair on a daily basis. And I'm not gonna lie to you, if you're constantly combing your hair in a rough way, in a rushed way, brushing your hair like crazy, putting on these tight styles, all of the things, pretty much manipulating your hair. And you're gonna see breakage, you're gonna see split ends. So how you handle it, I would be very cautious about that and be more gentle in your styling and also in your combing and brushing. The second thing I would say is going to be moisture. Our hair needs moisture and in some cases it needs it every single day. You'll be surprised how many people I talk to who say that they moisturize their hair a few times throughout one month, like three or four times in one month setting. And their hair is crazy, crazy dry. So if you have to moisturize your hair every single day or once every two days like me, I recommend doing that. And of course, as you guys know, always seal with an oil, a butter or hair grease to lock in that moisture. And just by increasing your moisturizing sessions throughout the week, you're gonna see a huge huge, huge improvement when it comes to lymph retention. And also don't neglect getting your trims. Some people do them six to eight weeks. Some people do search and destroy. I like to do search and destroy. And when I do it, I typically assess my hair once a month, like around that time. And what I do is I look for split ends. I look for anything that looks off, we're really split ends. And I just cut them. So if you see a split end, cut it because that's going to be like the killer of your length. And the last topic I wanna to bring to your attention is hormonal issues. Now, not all hormonal issues are really issues. It can just be changes and fluctuations of your hormones because our hair growth is very much regulated by our hormones. So for example, a woman who is pregnant has an increased amount of estrogen. So her hair is growing, it's thriving. But once she has the baby and now she's going through postpartum shedding, her hair is shedding like crazy because all those estrogens are now decreasing back to their normal level. So our hormones play a huge role. Now, in the case of menopause, women who experience androgenic alopecia, that's because there is a 
decrease of the estrogens and an increase of androgen. That can also lead to DHT and a lack of hair growth where your androgen cycle, your hair growth, active hair growth cycle, I should say, is decreased and now you're getting more shedding than growth. So the question is, what do you do when it comes to hormonal issues? The first thing I'm going to say is number one, make sure that you are getting the vitamins and nutrients, the antioxidants that your body needs to support healthy hair growth. The second thing I would say is to consult with your physician to see what can you do, what your options are when it comes to balancing your hormones so you can start seeing some growth consistently. And then the next thing I will say is, I talked about this before, is pumpkin seed oil has been shown to help against androgen alopecia. So if you are in that menopausal stage, I would definitely get your hands on some pumpkin seed oil. And you can, of course, add a few drops of rosemary and tea tree to help promote hair growth and reduce shedding all right guys hope you have enjoyed this video and learned something new if you enjoyed this video please be sure to like this video and if you are not subscribed to this channel be sure to hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell to stay in the loop for more curly chemistry content and of course i do have a question for you my question is what are you currently doing in your regimen that is helping you see growth maybe it's a vitamin an oil a product a technique what is helping you in that space of seeing more growth and even when it comes to length retention, maybe it's protective styling, whatever it is, comment below. Let us all know and I cannot wait on the conversation with you. If you're interested in learning more about your hair, ingredients, products, and the best techniques for your hair type, check out these amazing Curly Chemistry resources up here. My best advice are in these ebooks and I'll post the link below for you with more information. Now, if you're struggling with your hair care journey and would like extra assistance, I would love to connect with you one-on-one -on -one for hair care coaching and I'll post that link below for you as well for more information. And last but not least, if you are an entrepreneur or an aspiring entrepreneur who will start their own hair care line on a where you are in the world i would also love to connect with you one-on-one -on -one, and i'll post that link below for you with more information all right guys i love you i'll talk to you guys soon bye